Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be Goosebumps episode review number 5. How a board game can be a game of life. Now, if you haven't seen my short film review, short film review of short film short film review of short film review audiobook The Haunted House game even more tales to give you goosebumps. That will be compared to this. I gave that a 6 out of 10. So let's see how the episode compares to the book version of it. Um, so the Haunted House game episode came out during Season 3, Episode 10 of Goosebumps. This episode was made on November 8th, 1997. Uh, the basic synopsis comes from... The description. Uh, two friends play a haunted house themed board game that comes to life. What do I like about it? Well, it's Goosebumps related. It's written by R. Stein. And it's a cool concept for a story. But, but, but it's a cheesy idea. So, what are the reviews? IMBD. The only thing that actually reviews these episodes gave it a 7 out of 10. So let me talk about this episode really a bit quick. So in my likes, I said it's a cool story, but it's a cheesy idea. What I mean of that is it's, it, it's a cool concept because you never think a Goosebumps episode would talk, tap, tackle a haunted house plus a board game being involved. But it's a cheesy idea because it's kind of a 90s thing. You know, all the Goosebumps books and episodes are made in the 90s. Specific, I'm specifically talking about the classic series of Goosebumps. So, it's, it's very cheesy. A lot of cheesy things came out in the 90s. Especially this idea of a haunted house mixed with a board game. But it's a cool concept for the time. But now if you take a look at it, it's a really cheesy idea. So how does this compare to the book version? Well, the book version is way different than the episode. Um, honestly, I believe the episode version is better. Um, you know, both, both, both versions have the board game aspect of it, but they're two totally different stories. One is telling one thing, the other one is telling another thing. Honestly, I think the episode version is done better because you can more imagine it better because it's on screen. When you're listening to the book or reading the book, you're thinking, okay, okay. But the episode version is more, more clear about what they wanted to do, you know, you know. You see, you see, you see the kids playing the board game. You, you see them trying to find clues to escape the house. And then you see the twist ending. Which, I say the episode version of the twist ending is better. Um, but I'm not going to spoil that because you're going to have to watch the episode for yourself to get that twist up twist ending of the episode um so overall i think like i said the haunted house game is a cool concept for a story but it's a very cheesy idea because of the time it's made now nobody will really take the episode seriously because of the cheesy idea so i honestly think that the episode version is a little bit better than the book. It does a lot more than the book did. It tells a lot more. 
And that's why I think the book version is better. So what do I give? What do I give this Goosebumps episode review five? How a board game can be a game of life. The Haunted House game. I give it a 6.5 out of 10. It was close to being a 7, but I couldn't come down. See, I, I, I don't know because I was going to, I didn't know what the twist ending was going to be. When I found out at the end, I thought, hmm, it's good, but I don't really like it that much. So, it stays at a 6.5. And that is my Goosebumps episode review 5. How a board game can be a game of life. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, period.